Hello there, pipe smokers. This is Nathan. Thank you for stopping by. It's a nice, chill day here in Ohio. And with a high, I think it just hit 24 degrees. So it's a warm front for Canadians. <laughs> so, in any case, I wanted to do a little video here. I'm trying a new tobacco today, and you know it by the title. But I wanted to do a first impression. So, I'm here enjoying with my lemonade ginger ale. little bit of Rattray's Hallow the Wind, or however it would be pronounced over there. And I'm enjoying it with my buddy Bing. And I'm really enjoying it. This is a nice blend. It's categorized as a vapor. It's got, uh, on the back of the tin, it says also uh, some fire cured Kentucky. backs it up and I'm digging it this is a good blend and I should have ordered more than one tin of it to just do some cellaring but again never had it before but yeah this is tasty So it's typical vapor for me. At least I get obviously some like grassy type of farmy type scents of from the Virginias and a little bit of pepper on the perique. That fire cured Kentucky here is really making this blend. And it's really giving it a good umphy base to jump off of. That I'm really enjoying, at least on a first impressions point of view with this. It's good. And I love how much you get in one of these cans. You know, enough to fill my ball jar right up to the top there. And it's a broken flake. I think the combination of that perique and the Kentucky, and again, it's really a small amount of perique. It's not a huge amount of it, which n normally there there aren't huge amounts of perique. But it there's really a a bread, a good weedy, hearty bread that you get from a bakery that's behind this. And it really gives it a full at least on the tin note. It's 
a full uh, uh, nose to really anticipate what you're about to get yourself into. I like it a lot. I look forward to having more bowls of this. The, the smoke itself kind of continues that same thing. It, it, it seems to me, anyway, that it follows up the uh, the tin note with what you smoke. In a lot of cases, that happens. A lot of cases, that doesn't happen. But the that hearty grainy bread sense that you get with the tin note does kind of come through with the light, and it sub I think it subdues probably the perique a little bit. And again, I don't I there are rare occasions where I can sense perique. I mean, you, for me anyway. You, you really have to blow the, the roof off with Perique to, for me to get to say, hey, I think there's Perique in there. Um, but I can see where this would subdue it. And as a condiment to the Virginias, uh, the Kentucky in here really just works so well. It's a it's a really good blend so far. So yeah, that's Rattray's "How the Wind." get a chance, pick up a ton of this stuff. It's kind of hard to find at the moment. With all the supply lines kind of interrupted. But it's got a good flavor to it. It'll definitely uh, please the palate, no matter how complicated of a palate you have. I, I think it's one that most smokers would enjoy. I know some people really are averse to the Kentucky uh, leaf. Um, but I think this one balances pretty well. Um, you know, there's not, you know, with Kentucky, sometimes you think about, uh, old dark fired and, you know, that comes through really prevalent, uh, in that blend, um, which I truly love that blend. It's what I have the most of. Um, this is more, a lot more subtle. Uh, they they want that to play le a supporting role here, uh, but it just combines very well with the Virginias that they use, and I don't think they specify what kind of Virginias on here now. But it's done very very well. Um, Yeah, yeah, I would highly recommend getting a tin of it. I think you'd enjoy it. Um, and if you don't enjoy it, uh, shoot me an email. I'll give you my address. You can send it over to me. <laughs> Be glad to take that off your hands. So, anyway, that's my Hell of the Wind review. First impression. So, anyway, count your blessings, be thankful, and as always, all said and done, grace and peace to you.